Hey everybody, it's CTB Gaming, and welcome to a video where I look up my name on Urban Dictionary. But I'm really going to increase my self-esteem from this. Alright, top definition. Carson is a boy who will take your heart and never let it go. He will be the guy you have a crush on forever. He will catch your eye and never let you look back. He is perfect in every aspect and may have some flaws, but everyone is beautiful and adds up to him. He is very athletic and good at every sport and probably has dreams of college or pro sports, but does have some anger issues that come out during the game. He is very outgoing and makes everyone laugh. He can be serious though and has very good thoughts and ideas on life if you are able to see that side of him. He is incredible, handsome, and HOT. Every girl has or has had a crush on him, but he doesn't value it or know how lucky he is. He doesn't take any meaning into relationships and doesn't believe in true love. He could have had it all if he would have gave a girl a chance. He's great with kids and the way he smiles and look also looks out at the ground out the bottom corners of his eyes when he doesn't know what to say will melt your heart. Carson is the boy you'll love forever. Carson was one hot douche. I really should question why it's was instead of is. What the fuck is the Get a Carson mug for your guy Trump? Uh, no, no, I'm not, no. I, I don't think that, uh, Trump is my guy. He's not, my, like, my homie or something like that. No, I'm, I'm not gonna really give him a mug, so, yeah. But, this definition's pretty nice. I don't, I'm not really athletic, but, hey, if the definitions are like this, maybe I'll come out of this not wanting to kill myself. A cracker. You know, aside from the fact that I can't necessarily argue that point, let's admire the fact that this is from Cracker Carson, and he did this the day after Christmas. I'll just assume he's Jewish. Name given to someone that's the pimp hand of God! I am the motherfucking Carson! Now, but in all seriousness, this is probably my favorite definition I've ever come across on Urban Dictionary. Alright, this dude probably ran his face into the keyboard to come up with that name. This one's literally by someone titled His Girlfriend. We got ourselves a checklist here. Usually a man, only a woman if they have weird parents, but tall, always has a girlfriend so get in there quick, falls in love easily and makes others fall in love with him easy, dreamy, loves music, can sing, makes a guy or girl think constantly about him, HOT! Look at that hot singer, I think I'm in love with him, his name must be Carson. I mean, like, I'm tall, I, I like music, I don't know if I can sing. This this is by Marry Me Bro. What the fuck is this? Get a Carson mug for your guy, Sarah. You know what, I'm not, no, no, let's not question that. For all we know, it's freaking trap. A very tall person who has bird-like wrists, and no one likes but his girlfriend. If you have a Carson, you are very lucky, so don't let him go. Carsons tend to go after girls out of their league. Jane, that Carson is pretty hot, but he looks really desperate. Lindsay, his name must be Carson. Hashtag bird, hashtag tan, hashtag lover, hashtag godlike, hashtag desperate, hashtag funny. I have no idea how I'm supposed to feel about that. A guy with a huge cock and a pussy magnet. Get a Carson mug for your boyfriend, Jose. Carson, well, Carson is a lot of things. Carson is usually very nice and genuine to lots of people if he likes you. He is also usually smart and great at sports. He'll kick your ass though. He's small but mighty. You're usually lucky when you find a Carson. They are kind of rare. Wow, look it's a Carson. I can't believe my eyes. What am I, a freaking zoo animal? OMG, you're so lucky to have a Carson, but watch your back. Alright. So apparently I freaking assassinate my freaking exes. Hey Carson, can I have a hug? Winky face. Sure. Carson leads in to give girl a hug but puts his shoulder in her face. Frickin' smooth. Get a Carson mug for your bunkmate Trump. Oh, 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 so now I'm sharing a bunk bed with him? Okay, I see how this is. Generally a kick-ass name for a girl. Okay, this is already inaccurate to me. Guy. Man, look at that beautiful girl over there. She looks amazing. I want to talk to her. Guy too. You'll have some competition. That's a Carson. Guy. Wow, a Carson would never go for a guy like me. Guy too. Don't be so negative. Carson is a very outgoing, funny, nice, accepting girl. She'll definitely accept you as a friend. Frickin' wingman of the century. Jedi pimp and with lots of money and is potentially awesome. Hot chick. You're such a Carson. Awesome person. Drinks beer and says, I know. 
And get a Carson mug for your fish, Jose. This is all kinds of freaking AIDS. God damn it, the most badass person I have ever met. Not to be gay, oh god, but also a very romantic person. Has a exotic choice of words in speech, but perfectly fitting and serves everyone. Smooth with any situation. But on the other side, he also has a soft, caring side when he has to take care care for his baby sister best motherfucking friend ever had available for assistance anytime needed and i guess he's relatively attractive according to all the girls who can't stop talking about them dude one hey man carson is such a badass motherfucker dude two oh hell yeah man carson kicks anybody's ass oh yeah Th that's right i'm out here taking ass and kicking names wait a hilarious outgoing guy but shy when you first meet him he is extremely insecure, even though he is tall and very fit. He has the prettiest brown eyes you'll ever see and smile to match it. He loves rock music, especially Linkin Park. <laughs> Linkin Park is actually my favorite band of all time, conveniently. And jams out to smooth jazz, not really. Uh, well, then why the fuck do you- Okay. He is incredibly smart. Like seriously, it's not funny how smart he is. His intelligence is extremely attractive though. He has black hair and he styles it into his, his little mohawk thing that's so hot. He likes to keep it real once you see him really smile, not just a fake one. You know he's the one. He plays basketball, looks cute but awkward in the uniform though. He's the best guy friend I have. I love him to death and I wish he loved me the same way because I think that he is perfectly imperfect. She's got friend zone. And this is naturally from Mrs. Chester Bennington. Oh here we go again. Thoroughly kick-ass name for a girl. These girls are beautiful, smart, generally wonderful people who have glorious names. These girls do not fail at video games and or life. They are actually quite beastly at both. And they do not jack off sitting Indian style and hold people's balls by their foreheads. What the fuck? Thinks all these definitions are lame. My friends and I were urban dictionarying our names and having fun until we typed in Carson. Frowny face. Hashtag Carson, hashtag Nasrak, hashtag Acorns, hashtag Sacknor, hashtag Sorcan Cronus. <laughs> Verb meaning to take a golf club and swat someone's testicles, a la Johnny Carson. The act of holding someone's balls to the forehead in order to concentrate, a la JC's Karnak the Magnificent. A means to get a new car advocated by Toyota. One, I passed out on the floor on my of my frat house and awoke just before Weber gave me a Carson. I fled through the pantry door with my morning wood intact. Two, I wouldn't say I was her fuck buddy per se. Sure, I got off, but I was starting to suspect that she needed to think and was only waiting till I slept before she Carsoned me. Three, that Toyota Prius is looking sweet. What would the total carbon output be if I were to Carson my Subaru? <laughs> I'm reading these off my phone and it says get a Carson mug for your Papa Trump. What the hell is wrong with this thing? A kid who takes kindergarten twice. Right, now that's just messed up. An extremely sexy white boy with a horse cock. Tends to make panties wet every time he's in the same room with females. Bro, Bubba dropped the soap and got split in half by Carson. Josie Pata and her family say they've been dealing with a pesky bee problem for almost two years. Is a beehive. To have a strange obsession with pandas. Boy, let's go see Kung Fu Panda. Girl, stop being Carson. I hate pandas. Supposed to be I'm a weeaboo? Get a Carson mug for your fish, Gunter. <laughs> well, Gunter's gonna be my bitch once I get a million subscribers. The best. You are the best, Carson. A gossip hungry person who is still in love with a man who goes to her old school. But it's starting to get bored with him, so she resorts to juniors. Man 1. I thought she still likes Joe. Man 2. No, she is hooking up with this junior now. Man 1. God, she is such a Carson. I feel like there's a personal story behind that one. Oh, here we go again with this. To jerk off sitting Indian style with your non-dominant hand. A very popular practice in Leavenworth, Lansing, Kansas. Dude, I talked with Derek the other day, and he told me to Carson, and I think it changed my life. A person who is very bad at video games and just life in general. This person usually has weird fetishes for games with elves in them. Dude, I'm Carsoning so bad. 
Wow, Jill, you are such a Carson with those elves. Building, get the job? What a Carson. What the f When a man acts so feminine, he reminds you of Carson Cressley from Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Oh, great, we're bringing up that. Guy 1 to Guy 2. I just want to spend some time with just the two of us without anyone else hanging out. Guy 2 to Guy 1. Do you think you can be any more gay, Carson? Hashtag Nancy, hashtag queer, hashtag homo, hashtag gay, hashtag twinkle toes. Alright then. A complete and utter noob. God, she doesn't even know what Mahjong is. What a Carson. By Mahjonger123. Okay. If I'm getting dissed by people that play Mahjong, I should really evaluate my decisions in life. Afraid of small Jessicas. Hashtag depressed, hashtag scared, hashtag intense, hashtag terrify of life, hashtag emotionally stunted, hashtag bubble of sadness, hashtag addicted to hams. What? Oh, this guy decided to call me a cracker on Halloween. That guy over there is such a Carson. I bet he has so many. Says he was only weird in sixth grade, but that's a total lie. Hashtag weirdo for life. Oh, that guy is total Carson. Because he's always hitting on 8th graders. Aw, oh, great. The type of boy who has liked a girl for years but is too scared to ask her out while at the same time getting offended when someone memes her as if they are dating. This type of boy also stays home to nurse a headache and play games and jerk off. Also the kind of boy who talk about his trash job at a gym. I mean, this is pretty accurate aside from the fact that I'd be working at a gym. A sexy badass geek with a horse's dick. Every girl that looks at him wants to get fucked by him. Hot girl, I just had the best sex of my life. Friend, wow, you must have been with a Carson. This was by Timothy the Train Engine. Most of them are hoes and get around with everybody. They think they are cute, but really not. They have many friends, but they talk behind their backs. Carson is such a hoe. Bitch. Okay, this one's talking about Carson, California. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, what's this? Get a C. Arson mug for your brother, Trump. Okay, you know what? This is going long enough. All right, guys, I have an admission to make. I am actually Donald Trump's brother, Kofifi. Uh, you know, that tweet that you all remember from a while back, that was actually him talking crap about me. He didn't say that I was his brother because he didn't want to give me any attention, and he knew that that wouldn't make any sense to most people. So, yeah. Watch a bunch of frickin' liberals are gonna tag my ass. The act of scratching your ass or junk in public and trying to make it not obvious when it totally is. Most often done in a casual way, when everyone happens to be looking. Dude, that chick was just carsoning. Turn off! Hashtag Nasrak, hashtag loser, hashtag sneaky, hashtag ass scratcher, hashtag someone with a huge dick. A buff male who often goes to the pool by himself and talks to strangers. Kelly, so I was laying out at the pool today, this really hot creeper came up and started talking to me. Caitlin, OMG, what a Carson. Hashtag creep, hashtag buff, hashtag sex on a stomach, hashtag awkward, hashtag gay. Wait, how does that make me gay? A boy who's annoying, rude, and says bad words all the time. Don't ever date a boy named Carson. Ew, you're dating a Carson? <sighs> well, fuck you. Oh boy, here we go. Noun, scum of the lowest level in human society. Verb, carsoning present, carson past. Carsoner, the person committing the act of carsoning. How to carson? 1. Become best friend of target, usually a person. 2. Ask for a chance with said person while they are dating. 3. Whenever fights with person significant other occur, be there to comfort. 4. Make everything partner does seem worse than it actually is. 5. Try to seem better than partner. 6. After partner and your target break up, make a move on target after 4 days in or less. They will probably date you now since you've built up credibility as a reliable person to them. 7. Act like you're the best, most upstanding person by attacking ex-partner when they contact your target. 8. Continue to seem like a great person when in reality you only treat, treat your target right because you like them and actually hate everyone else. 9. Make false rumors. 10. Continue to be the lowest scum of the earth. 11. Repeat steps 7 through 10. And there you have the steps to carsoning. Be warned, even if you are better than the person carsoning, your partner may still leave you. 
No, do not fight the partner even if it's just you being concerned. Increases chances of being carsoned. The, the gift below depicts a man falling into Carsoner's trap. Person 1, my girl just dumped me. Said she needs some time to herself. Person 2, hey, be careful of Samuel. They, they seem pretty close. He might Carson her. Luke, bro, my girl just got with Zack and we've only broken up for five days. Victor, you got Carson. Person 1, they're just a friend, nothing more. But whenever we fight, get closer and closer to them. Person 2, so they're Carsoning me? Person one, no, nothing like that. They make, they make, have asked for a chance when we first started, but it's nothing. I love you. Person one, yeah, they're carsoning me. Carson is a term used to describe a guy with no life. He spends all of the, his time jerking off because he will never get a girl. His eyebrows were inspired by a caterpillar. Well, look at that Carson. One awful person. A guy with a micro dick that can fit up your nose. Freaking little dickies call me out. One of the biggest fuckboys you will ever meet. He will be the best boyfriend ever and give you everything you want. Once he gets bored and wants something you won't give him, he moves on and breaks your heart. He's a real asshole. Girl, you're such a Carson, just leave me alone. Boy, how could you say that? I'm way better than a Carson. You know, I... <laughs> this is starting to get depressing. A complete douchebag doesn't care for others and is an ignorant fuckboy. You know, I think there's a bit of an accuracy when it comes to calling me a fuckboy. Another one from Halloween. The ugliest person around, he's so ugly and he tries to dick fuck his brother. Look at that Carson, his small penis is hanging out and he's chasing his brother. A sexy pie, ready to fry, super high and sexy male that is very nice and is fun to be around. Okay, now we're getting back on track with the good ones. Biggest jerk you will ever meet. Don't trust people named Carson. That guy is so mean. His name is probably Carson. You know, I'm starting to feel like I'm on my own episode of Mean Tweets. Tiny Tic Tac, short as fuck, kisses ass and punches and gets in fights. Hits ass too. Carson, give me your ass. I, I um, I, I'll take that as a good one. Cunt ass bitch. Oh boy. In honor of Ben Carson, 2016 presidential hopeful, to Carson is to be so unaware of pleasure or act during intercourse, you either forget where you are or you fall asleep. Ben's dick game was so weak, I Carsoned on his ass. Ah, uh, well don't worry about that, Ben Carson is doing great. A white male that is a homosexual and likes it in the ads. Carson, hey I like it in the ads. Everyone, no one cares. Double hashtag fag, hashtag ass. Carsons are typically that one white guy who is super racist and sexist but disguises it with his sense of humor. This one guy just told me that he thought monkeys lived in Africa. Ugh, I bet his name is Carson. And this is from, sorry if you can't handle the truth. And you know what guys, that is the truth. Uh, let me admit this right now, I am in fact racist. I think that Asians are smarter than white people. And I am also sexist in the fact that I find women more attractive than men. I, you see, my approach is that I always start off with a soft caress of the inner thigh. Carson's annoying as fuck. Carson will spend the majority of your time with him talking endlessly about himself and his problems, leaving others like, Damn, dude, get off your own nuts. Carson is a douchebag. Hashtag narcissist. Literally everyone whenever Carson is around. Actually, I think that this might be one of the people that get annoyed when I talk about how much I hate the Rage compilations. Granted, it predates it. A complete asshole. Great at making dick moves. Me. Want to share your headphones? I lost my beats. Carson. No, bitch. You know, a party feels like this dude wrote this up after he caught his friend trying to finesse the last Hot Pocket. Pretty special if I stay up this late for you and write a bunch of reviews of how you're a strong, independent black woman. <laughs> he's black and he's back, Carson. Wow. <laughs> I will admit, that is friendship. A handsome nerd who should have found me a long time ago. Carson, you get to watch the minions with my dad. I can't wait. Your prob's gonna die. Oh, this is the same person from before. A cunt hair that smelled like a donkey who lives in shit plant. You remember seeing that nasty looking person the other day? Yeah, Carson. Hashtag ass pimple. 
Carson is a Jew that gets ass fucked by his girl's 24 inch dildo while he eats burgers and had cream cheese on his face. Carson was bent over with 24 inches inside him while, cre while eating cream cheese. <laughs> I got nothing. Hashtag I know it's a guy but Carson booty is great. Easily whipped, albino, head looks like a fishbowl, short temper, alcoholic, has a chill from steroid abuse. Man, that boy Carson ugly as fuck. At the beginning, there was one done by his girlfriend, now there's one by his queen. A bitch. This term is used for males who usually brag about their sexual life constantly, which in reality consists of receiving nudes from 10 year old girls. The majority of this time is spent jacking off and telling people he can't hang out because he's busy. This male is usually so horny he gets aroused by a slight bit of skin on a female. Male can usually be seen wearing some gay ass clothes, do not confuse this for a Cameron or a Caden. The key difference is the signature fuckboy haircut. This male's sexuality varies from homosexual to heterosexual, so take caution when around a Carson. Why is a dude staring at my little sister? What a Carson. According to this, I might be in the same jail cell as Jared Fogle in the future. A cool ass guy who has light brown hair, brown eyes, 150 pounds, and 5 foot 7. He has no fears. He loves to play COD and Fortnite. Well, this is pretty accurate in a way. Everyone loves Carson. He has a very big penis and very wealthy. Oh, oh okay. He loves when he likes to hit a jewel. No, no, I don't like that. No, I don't. Dope ass person. Carson is fucking cool and he's super good at Fortnite. Carson. Oh gosh, guys, don't embrace me. What the hell are these hashtags? Double hashtag Savage, double hashtag Maverick, double hashtag Logan Paul dead body, hashtag LoganPaul.com slash shop, hashtag Gluchik Vlogs, ha double hashtag Fizzy mo Money? What the? What? The worst boyfriend you could ever have. He is a sweet taker, and after he gets tired of sweet talking to you, he dumps you. Never ever get you a Carson. He is so rude after y'all break up. Just never ever get a Carson. He just broke up with her, and just left her. He is such a Carson. Okay, I know that these are probably from people who broke up with a Carson, but what compelled them to go on Urban Dictionary after they broke up and write a negative definition of Carson? A faggot. This is from the same person, except that they put faggot instead of faggot slut for the hashtag. A fursona that has a beautiful voice who can basically control you and has a dog cock for days. Okay, I don't really think that a dog cock would be good. Example, Carson, it says on your resume you have a dog cock for days. Carson, damn right I do. Why would I put that on a resume? Carsons have big dicks and will fuck you hard, but they also chill as fuck. And funny as fuck, if you meet a Carson in life, fuck them. You know what, I, I think I agree with this statement. You should all trust the uh, quote given by Maya Loves Dick. And no, I'm not saying that example because my mom's home. Now we should look at one more definition involving Carson from the alphabetical list, which such great words like car slut and cars McQueef. The definition for Carson Butler from Thomas35, Thomas is my middle name, CTB, the most savage human ever. You know Carson Butler? Yeah, he's that savage kid. Well, after looking up what my name means to many people, I think I'm going to go kill myself now. But, yeah. You're probably all thinking that I'm joking, aren't you? You're probably just laughing it off, like, oh, he isn't going to actually kill himself. Yeah. But if you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. I I want to do more of these because this was pretty fun to do. Uh, I'll probably do Tyler Ness because he's a freaking slut. And, yeah. And if you're actually wondering if I am going to kill myself in all seriousness, um, yeah, I'm not going to really give you an answer. I think I'll just leave you hanging.